Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you read the title of this video or saw the thumbnail even, I'm sure you know it is going to be a fun one, or at least I think it's going to be fun. I ordered it online, obviously, when it first came out on February 1st or 2nd, I think. One of those days. I was one of the first people to get it as well. I ordered it in like the first five minutes it came out. And that is the one and only Sugar Pills X Little Twin Star collab. And you know, as many others who have done videos on this have said, because I'm a YouTuber, we need to get the full collection to give you guys the full effect of everything. So I wanted to do an unboxing as well with you guys, so I have not even taken like the plastic things off that are holding this box together. I can't open it, have not taken it off, so I'm going to do that here for you guys. I probably should have though. These things are hard to take off. Perhaps I destroyed the box, perhaps not. Oh well, what we want is inside. Oh, I love it. Haven't even seen it. That's probably a bill. You guys don't need to see that. So it opens up obviously with your bill and then it's got a little sticker and a very cute art thing here. I love a good sticker. Look at that shiny guy right there. Ooh, very shiny. Aww. And then it's got like share all your pics and stuff on the back. That's so cute. Oh, and then this is really pretty. This was on their website, I feel like, right now, promoting all the fun stuff. It is a very cool pick, and the liquid lippies. Definitely want to get a couple of those because I've seen them, and I think they're really cool. Ah, uh, okay. That. Here it is. Ah, I'm so excited. Oh, I this got here last week and I'm only now filming it. I'm probably gonna be the last one to ever put this video up online, but like, I had con and post-con depression, which I'm still enjoying right now. It's so good, oh my goodness. There it is. Can you guys see the kind of glossy little twin stars in the back, Kiki and Lala? It's on a very nice matte, not lavender, it's like, I can't remember what the color is, but, it's a very nice box and like you can reuse the box and it's it's got a little bit of a magnet as well right along here I think oh that's so good oh I'm peeking oh that's so cute same thing with the back that's so precious oh that's so cute okay so this is the, what the back reads Kiki and Lala have traveled to earth to learn how to be the best shiniest stars they can be now you can shine bright with them. The twins have teamed up with the cutest cult beauty brand Sugar Pill to create this limited edition makeup collection which features all new shades in the ultra pigmented high performance cruelty free formulas they are known for. Get ready to sparkle. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. So it's got like all this very cute information on the back with what it all comes with and then you can re reuse the box to keep it for your favorite treasures. That's so cute. Oh my god. I love this already. Okay. D. Let's see. So let's just... I can't believe I have this. I've seen it in so many other videos, but like, I'm very glad to have my own. This is so cute and very well made. Like, generally I feel like when there's... I don't know, a collab brand? I don't know. I haven't gotten many things from collabs, especially like the bags and stuff. I feel like they're not that well made, but this feels really well made. It's very smooth. Um, mm, new bag smell, and it's so cute. And then it's got the classic Sugar Pills X Little Twin Stars on there, and then the front, which is very precious, and then you can see your makeup inside. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! And then it's also got the classic 
I believe, Sugar Pills little heart thing on there as well with the cross on it. That is very cute. I love it very much. Alright, now I'm gonna start off with the palette here. And I watched it the other day. Pixie Locks, I'm feeling you. It's okay. I'm not gonna open like this just in case because, you know, shipping to Canada is a fun thing. So on the back of the little slide they've got all the little colors plus the twin stars there. I thought it's very cute and it's got the little description again. That's so cute. But we've got Cloud Maker, Star Ribbon, Twinkle Twinkle, Dream Dust, Sky Candy, and Wish from there to there. Well bam. So that's really cute. Okay so I'm gonna open it this way then show you guys because I'm scared. Okay. Everything's fine, nothing's crumbling. Now I can show it to you. Ah, it's so cute. I love it so much, guys. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, it's so adorable. And like, I don't want to peel the plastic off the mirror yet. That's like one of my favorite parts about palettes that they have a mirror and you peel back the plastic. What a satisfying moment that is. But this is so good. Okay, so yes. Beautiful. There it is. Beautiful. And they've got them in a very, very cute scene on the back. So we're gonna get into some swatches. So I think I'm going to go in first with Cloud Maker. Oh, that's pretty pigmented. That was just from rubbing it a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna do all the swatches on the back of my hand. Okay, and then Dream Dust. <laughs> Star Ribbon. Sky Candy. I'm really hoping good for this one. <gasps> Yay! It's kind of chalky, but still really cute nonetheless. And there's some sort of plane going over right now. Will you stop? I am trying to film a video. <laughs> ah! I guess it's fine. Very bad. Okay. Next, I'm going to go in with Twinkle Twinkle. <gasps> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> and last but not least, I'm going to go in with Wish. swatches I did have to layer a couple of them um, just because they weren't as pigmented as some of the other ones the only ones I really had to relayer because they are kind of more natural was dream just needed a couple little layers cloud maker maybe did sky candy a little bit I mean they're buildable obviously it's not one of those ones where you can just kind of one go and there it is. I mean, it would probably help if it like was a wet brush and all that, but you know, I have my fingers right now and that's huh, what we're gonna deal with. But they are still really cute shades and I very, very much love them. Okay, let's move on to the lippies. I am very excited for these ones. I really, really wanted the pink one. I really, really want the pink one to be good because my other pink right now uh, my Anastasia Beverly Hills is just drying out my lips a lot recently and I'm not having fun with that so I might have just gotten a dunce one I don't know maybe it's just the seasons anyways so here they are the beautiful lippies they are so cute again it's got that same kind of not lavender the lighter purple that I'm not aware of the color of um, it's got that all throughout the box on the packaging, so very consistent packaging, you know it's good branding when. And then it's got Kiki and Lala on the tubes. So I'm gonna start off with the blue one, I guess it's turquoise, and then we'll go from there. Okay, it's kind of a flexy a flexy foot. You can flex the boy. 
That's okay though. Different. Okay, now that I have it on my finger, I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand. Oh, that's so good. And it's really light. Really, really light and very pigmented. I'm gonna have makeup all over myself after this. So that is what it looks like on my handsies. But let's, let's put it on my lippy. So here we go. Put that very carefully between my white socks, which I'm sure is very, very safe. Okay, wow, that is a color, and I'm already getting it everywhere. Do, do, do. Okay, so this is like literally one, one little applicator, like, can we just appreciate that? This is, it went on very, very light. My lips are a little dry right now, so like, certain parts probably look gross and crummy, but like, it's very light and goes on very smoothly and that's definitely creamsicle, like orange creamsicle. Yeah. I want to say orange creamsicle. <laughs> so that's so cool. I wonder if it actually says it's scented. No, but I'm calling it now orange creamsicle. So this is really good. I really like this. Oh my gosh. And I'm really glad. Doesn't make my teeth look too yellow. I'm going to be using some white strips soon, but like... I really like this blue. This could be a cute look. Mm. Not this, obviously, like, but like this lipstick could go on a cute look. Okay, let's go in with Lala. I'm very excited, very, very pumped for this pink. Same thing with the little bendy brush. Oh, this is such a nice pink. Oh, it's so good. It looks a little more neon on the camera, but it's kind of more of a um, a mattier pink it's yeah it doesn't it just says Lala on the bottom um, but this is a really really nice pink so I'm gonna go in with the pink okay here is the pink and I just noticed I had a little green spot right there so sorry about that but I love this pink. It went on very smooth again. Only one like dip in here and it's good. Um, with the pink though, I do recommend like going like that for a bit so it can dry, matte down. Um, Cause did wanna come off a little bit. But again, it also smelled like the creamsicle. I like the smells of this. I don't normally like some smells of lipsticks. They're, I mean, normally they don't have a smell, but like, there was this one lipstick that I have, probably gonna be in a makeup video, uh, that just smells really, really funny, but like the color was so, so pretty that I just didn't wanna pass it up, so I just kinda lived with the smell, and it, the smell went away as soon as it matted down, but like until then it was just, it was not very pleasant. But anyways, this, that is the video, so, here is the look. Okay guys, so that is the end of kind of swatching and showing and looks and all that fun stuff. Now I wanna, wanna be honest with you, Let's sit down and be honest. Hmm. Would I recommend this to my friends, family, like whoever likes makeup? Um, yes. It depends on how much you wanna spend though. For myself, it was an expensive buy, plus shipping uh, was 93, it was, Pretty much, basically, let's just call it a hundred. You get it for the novelty, though. You get it for like the little twin stars. Um, probably be the same way if it was like Hello Kitty or Deary Lou or like any other 
any of the other Sanrio characters. I don't know, I really liked it though. I don't have a lot of expensive palettes, so like I can't really say, I can't really compare it to a lot of my other palettes, cause like, I get a lot of drugstore palettes, I get like palettes from Walmart, like, I'm very cheap when it comes to some things, but not when it comes to the lippies, because if, I feel like myself personally, if I get a cheap lipstick from like Walmart or something, it dries out my lips too fast, so I end up getting the expensive ones. But the only expensive palettes I really have is I have the Too Faced Natural Love palette and a Naked palette, but I don't know where that is. So those are like the only ones I have other than that. I have a lot of e.l.f. palettes, I have a Drugstore palette, I've got a couple NYX palettes, um, but I do love the NYX I Love You So Mochi palette. If I was to compare it to that one, just pigment wise, the Mochi palette is a lot more pigmented with the first swatch. Then again, these colors are a lot more pastel, um, as you can kind of tell. A lot more pastel. This one's obviously, it does pretty good on the first try, and the gold does too, twinkle twinkle. But comparing it to that palette specifically, um, the I Love You Mochi palette is a lot more pigmented. However, I love this palette, and it's very cute. Um, I think it's just absolutely adorable. I will use it, obviously, on a daily thing like uh, I feel like the dream dust is gonna be a really good base this guy candy would be a really good crease and then twinkle twinkles just freaking cute as heck so I do recommend obviously the palette my friends actually really wanted the palette and they were really jealous that I was able to get it and I'm like I got it cuz I'm a youtuber now and they're like shush and I'm like it's fine um the lippies though I would highly recommend they go on super super light they smell freaking awesome. I love the creamsicle smell. Hopefully that's what it is. If it's not, then I might just be crazy and might need to go see a doctor. But I love the lippies. They are super, super cute. The color is really, really nice. They go on very light. You only need to go dip in like once. The only thing that I kind of, no, I didn't mean really. The little, the apply, the applicator bends funny sometimes. So like I messed up a couple times, but like they're super cute. The packaging is adorable and the colors are great so I definitely would recommend these and then like obviously I recommend a cute pouch all the time because it's so cute and I love it all in all I guess I would recommend this to my friends um, if they're willing to spend that little extra just for like the really cute value the like what is it called I've forgotten the word but you know you get it for the cuteness you get it for the little twin stars that's what you want to get it for so, all in all, I thought it was really cute, and I will be using it a lot. So, yeah. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And, like, if you have any thoughts on this palette, leave that in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye!